Okay guys, back to the Outer Circle. Let's look at some new release type stuff this week. Uh, namely in the form of one terrible unit um, that was previewed over on Warhammer Community. <laughs> this thing. And some last chance to buy type shenanigans happening in the background that people don't know about. So, first things first. This is the Planetary Fortress from StarCraft 2, is it not? Well, looks a damn lot like it. It's one of those ironic things. StarCraft started off as a licensed version of a Warhammer 40,000 game. Games Workshop decided not to follow through with it. Blizzard made their own thing. And now Games Workshop is trying to emulate Blizzard. Which is what it looks like to me. Um, some of those Primaris units look like they're straight out of StarCraft, especially the Jumpy Boys. This thing is a travesty. And it's a travesty for other reasons. Yes, Marines can have a fortification. But here's the thing. In the fluff, Marines are a shock faction in 40k. It's not 30k anymore, where Marines would do things like hold planets against giant alien armadas. No, in 40k, Marines are just... There's not enough of them to go around to get the job done. So they're a rapid shock element. They come in, they strike hard, they get out of there. They generally don't fortify a place. Instead, Imperial Guard are used to fortify a planet, and the Imperium will send Marines in to conduct strikes on the enemy whilst they're being pinned down by the Guard in the classic sort of pincer maneuver. Now, this is not to say that Marines don't ever fortify positions and hop in a trench with a bolt gun. It can happen, but it's not the norm. This design here reeks of... It reeks of people who don't understand the faction shoehorning in something that marketing or corporate wants them to do. Doesn't sit well with me, especially when there are better versions of this design or concept out there for Marines that do suit the aesthetic. So this thing right here is meant to be some sort of large drop pod. I don't see how because it's not shaped like it. Yeah, it's got these gigantic fins above the legs, but the sides of it are boxy. There's there's big strips of steel bolted on for some reason with physical bolts. Like, none of that makes sense as a design. Especially not when you have this thing. This is the Deathstorm drop pod. There's this version which has these missile launchers. There's also a version of it with assault cannons. This suits the Astartes aesthetic. This is something that's dropped in from above and can act as a fortified position or emplacement. That sort of thing suits the Space Marines. This does not. This looks like the Flying Command Fortresses in StarCraft and StarCraft 2. Something that has these four big legs and can and, and the little ramp at the front there, I suppose, with the big turret on top and it can lift the legs up when it takes off and flies to a new position. That's what this looks like. Are we trying to capture the Blizzard market? Maybe. Um, it's not a terrible idea, but what about the existing market who thinks this looks like trash? Because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of memes out there of people who think this looks like trash, and I am one of these people. Make things like this, not things like this. And if you do want to talk marine fortifications, well, such a thing does exist. Uh, it just doesn't look like that. Let's see. What do we have here? Well, I'll open up a couple of options and people can decide from those. There's a Realm of Battle Imperial Strong Point. Now this could be for Marine or for Guard Forces. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, as you can see, it's sort of a bunker complex, so it's not dropped from above. That's no good. What about this here? Ah, well this here is Titan Grade Weaponry. Uh, in a fortified position. Now this is a 30k terrain piece, but it goes well with the last one I showed. Okay, okay. What about this one here? Now this is an actual marine rapid fabricated fortification. Uh, the Iron Warriors were big on this in the Heresy, but I don't know anyone who actually has one. Um, as you can see though, it's actually made of sections that look like they are pre-assembled on site. 
you can see there's sort of like uh, big bolts and things like that holding the sections together. There's meant to be a force field that actually acts as a doorway. Little turrets that clip on onto the outside. Uh, as well as like a command center in the very back there. Kind of reminds me of like the Starship Troopers movie fortifications. Oh crap, someone does own one. There you go. Uh, that is an actual marine fortification. This is not. This is trash. Um, if you took the legs off this, changed the turret to something off a of Liman Russ, this would perfectly fit into the Imperial Guard or the copyright friendly Astra Militarum. It does not, however, suit the Astartes. When you have a faction that is all about rapid response with high speed vehicles, jet packs, things like that, throwing in this weird abomination bunker does not suit the faction. And I can't believe that after all these years of this channel existing, I still have to say things like this. Have a tonal consistency within your faction. Alright, moving on. This was linked to me the other day. It is a list of items on the Forge World web store. Uh, someone said 75 losses or something. I haven't tallied them up myself. Um, but including spaces that have been inserted, that sounds about right. A whole bunch of stuff secretly disappeared from the Forge World web store. I went and started to double check a few of them, like the Achaia Pattern upgrade set. Yep, sold out, okay. Uh, what's some of the others? Lots of Imperial Guard armoured parts. Okay, let's have a look there. The Army's the Imperium. Uh, Astro Militarum. Let's just scroll through them all and see what we've got. Temporarily out of stock. Hmm. Okay, that means they'll come back. Sold out. Cadian Infantry Squad upgrades. Cadian Infantry Squad with Respirator upgrades. Gone. I don't see any Chimera armor or anything like that available. Let's see. Vehicles. And we'll just, we'll just select vehicles. See what pops up. Scrolling rapidly through here. I imagine anything that's missing will probably be missing at the bottom of the page. It's what they tend to do. Lots of temporarily out of stock, okay. Lots of temporarily out of stock. Um, hmm. Alright, let's go look at the Eldar, because apparently there's a few, uh, there's two things missing from the Eldar which are Phoenix and the Warp Assault Walker. Uh, yeah, Wasp Assault Walker, sorry. Xenos Elgari. Yeah, okay. They're gone. So, so far, everything I've looked for on the list is gone or sold out. Um... Were they going to let people know any of this? Hey, get in and get some chain axes that you actually need to upgrade your units before they're gone? No, nah, guess not. Um, what about all these sets of doors? Thousand Suns, Nurgle, Sons of Horus, that kind of thing. Let's have a look here. I'm sure this will get us all our results. So it reckons mostly land raider doors. Death Guard Land Raider Doors, Death Guard Rhino Doors. Ah, that'll be the 40k Death Guard, not the Legion ones. Let's see, do we have any of the 40k Chaos Door upgrades for their vehicles? No. No, there are none. So it's all only the 30k vehicles uh, doors left. And for some reason, when you type in doors, or door into Forge World, 
it seems to think that includes house terran upgrades for a knight and the head of a warlord titan at its shoulders okay whatever seems a bit silly to me search algorithms are very hard to make work so here we have a whole ton of different items that have just gone poof into oblivion uh, so well done to whoever it was compiled this list uh, cwp joe uh forge world what's the go i'm curious do you make a habit well you have made a habit of just arbitrarily removing a bunch of stuff with no say about whether it's coming back or anything like that i mean uh lately i've noticed the achilles land raider has just gone poof off into oblivion um i don't know how you guys actually feel about the recast market i imagine it cuts into your bottom line so you probably would hate it um but you're not doing much to discourage them with this kind of behavior because anyone who wants any of these parts now well they're not going to come to you and this was basically easy money uh these are flat objects nice and easy to make these sorts of things doors things like that uh, upgrade armor for tanks that's just slap on stuff uh, Land Raider Helios, it's just a whirlwind launcher basically on top of a Land Raider and an extra sight glass. Stuff like that. Easy upgrades, easy money. You just don't want it, you just don't even want to tell anyone. Uh, that, uh, you're getting rid of it. Gotta say, poor form. Mm. So, this is just a quick video. I, I want to get another one out this weekend, a proper video. Um, I do want to get into contact with Arch Warhammer and have a discussion with him at some point. So I've made overtures to try and make that happen, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, as people know, I've interviewed quite a diverse group of people so far on the channel. Um, Tim from Eye of Horus, Leaky Cheese, Ego Queen Alexis, and I'd be interested to chat to Arch. Uh, so yeah, anyone who can make that happen, let's make it happen. Anyway, thanks for watching, and let me know what you think of Forge World and their nefarious making of things just vanish. Um, Hillary Clintoning uh, stuff on the website. Um, yeah, see you all next time.